Well, hey everybody, it's Tom here. Welcome back to my shop. So, as you know, in the last video I mentioned my wife had foot surgery. She's doing well. Thanks for all the well-wishers, but obviously she can't walk. She has a little scooter, but she still needs assistance, so I've been up at the house mainly. But I did get a chance to uh, come down here, so I'm going to open up the gearbox and the horizontal boring mill. I haven't been in it since I bought it, and I want to clean it out and change the oil. So I figured we'll just make a short video and you guys can uh, see what I see. So let me grab the camera, get you set up, and let's uh, pull some bolts. Here's a look at the gearbox, what it looks like inside. Hopefully the lighting's pretty good. So happy to uh, not find any chunks of metal or any um, you know, chunks off the gear teeth. Everything looks pretty good. Add a little extra light here. So, I mean, we do have a little bit of wear here, you know, on the leading edge. Same thing here where it drives. Obviously, that's from, you know, trying to change the gears while they're spinning. You know, being that these are straight cut, that, you know, this gear has to align directly into this one. Not like, you know, helix cut gears where they'll, they'll slide in and, you know, go in real easy and engage. So, this is the drive from the motor, and this is the drive that you select uh, from here to here, and this is what goes to your head. So, right now you got the lowest gears, and then as this thing changes, you know, it'll go here. So, overall, overall happy I got it all cleaned out. And this is the clutch over here. I don't know if you guys would be able to see it very well. So it says the Carlisle Johnson Machine Company, Manchester, Connecticut. Patent May 13th, 190 something. I can't read the last number because it's stamped very, very lightly in it. But this is a size number six clutch. So, now you're supposed to be able to adjust it. I have no information on how to adjust it in the manual that I've got. So I do see a hole here. I don't know if that's for uh, maybe sticking in a spanner or something. Because the clutch goes this way and this way to engage. So I'm thinking maybe do you, you know, screw this towards the clutch, you know, this way and this way to compact it as the clutch wears not sure anybody got any ideas throw it down there in the comments i'd love to hear it but uh like i said i am glad i got into it because let's go take a walk over here uh, <laughs> this is uh this is what came out of the bottom so like i said it's just you know grime and grunge no metal chunks happy to that but this is all the oil that was in that big case. It's supposed to have five gallons. <laughs> so, I mean, what do we have? A little over half a gallon of oil and that's it. So, glad I decided to go in there and do the maintenance. You know, I hadn't run it really a lot. We did do the uh, angle plates. And I did run it for a couple hours doing the, the milling on it. So, hopefully... You know, it didn't do any damage in there. It probably ran hot, being that it only had half a gallon of oil instead of five gallons. So, I've got uh, some ISO 46 ordered. And also, addressing the oil leaks. As you can see, you know, I got this little cup here. I got pig mats here and there. Fortunately, these uh, really nice ornate brass valves leak. I don't know if they're rebuildable or not. I'm just going to go ahead and take them out and put regular pipe plugs in because it's got regular plugs over here, as you can see. So oil is supposed to be in here, I guess for the gears. And then it looks like I've got a fill here. I think that fills this whole area here. So I'm getting ready to, uh, you know, open these up and see where the oil level is and change the oil, put fresh in, put fresh in there, so, and then fresh in the gearbox, and I think we'll be 
pretty good there so just a quick peek pretty cool looking in there but that's the inside of a gearbox for horizontal boring mill so the oil got delivered last night we'll get this in and make the gearbox happy and of course I need a screwdriver Somebody's been pouting. If I'm not been playing with you, I've been busy with the horizontal board mill. I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> I'm sorry. You want to say hello to all your friends on YouTube? Say, well, yeah, maybe. Or I'll just sit here and take a nap. Well, there you go. Pretty cool inside. That clutch system is pretty neat. I'm trying to figure out how to adjust it. I did go on the internet and do a little bit of search and the company is actually still in business. Looks like they've been merged or bought out or something. Um, and I've called the phone number and I've had no luck because it's an automated system and no matter what button I press and what department I try, I cannot talk to a live person. So gotta love companies that do that. I don't know why. And I have left messages and nobody will call me back. So. Um, just kind of dead in the water on the clutch, but you know, it is what it is. I'm glad I got fresh oil in it. So hope you enjoyed this quick little one. Not sure if I have a video next week. Just depends if I can get down here or if I get a paid job. So, you know, bear with and until, uh, next video, we'll see you guys. Take care. Bye.